Welcome to the American University of Kurdistan and the first national conversation on K through 19 education in Kurdistan. First, I would like to recognize those joining us today. A special welcome to your excellencies, Prime Minister of the Kurdistan Regional Government, the Right Honorable Masroor Barzani, President of the Kurdistan Region of Iraq, the Right Honorable Nechevan Barzani, to the ministers of the Kurdistan Regional Government, Sheena Sengupta, representative of UNICEF in Iraq, members of parliament, presidents of universities, representatives of governance, international governmental and non-governmental organizations, and distinguished guests. Also, I would like to acknowledge the efforts, Your Excellencies, on behalf of education in Kurdistan. His Excellency, the Prime Minister, has placed economic diversification at the center of his agenda. Education is the seminal building block. As students need to graduate with the skills and knowledge pivotal to growing the economy and ensuring prosperity. Key is the expectation that academic programs in secondary, higher, and vocational education be aligned with workforce needs. His Excellency, the President, for years has supported an assessment of the current educational system with the goal of continuous improvement. So today we're having our first annual national conversation on K through 19 education. The goal of this initiative is to establish a forum to identify strategic priorities focused on the reformation and grooming of the current educational system into an exemplary model for Iraq and the Middle East. With a focus on workforce preparedness, not just aiming to accommodate Kurdistan's economic needs of today, but into the future. After strategic priorities are identified, work groups of stakeholders across the public, educational, NGO, and private sectors will be convened to devise tactics and implementation plans to address current challenges, bridge gaps, and establish mechanisms to ensure the continuous assessment, monitoring, and sustainability of initiatives. Results will be reported annually at similar venues as today. AUK is the administrator of the initiative and hosting this inaugural event. The University of Kurdistan Haller will serve as the host and sponsor for allied events taking place in Erbil. So why K through 19, kindergarten through doctoral education? The conversation here and within the work groups must uphold a broad perspective from child to student to university institute graduate to professional. It is also pivotal to focus on the gaps, transitions between each stage to not only ensure readiness for advancement but also to optimize individual growth and foster a commitment to lifelong learning, all of which benefits the civic and economic well-being and prosperity of the nation. This is most urgent for Kurdistan, where the median age is 21. 50% of the population is less than 20 years old. The female labor force participation rate in Kurdistan is one of the lowest at 14%. 69% of females under 24 are unemployed. And with 1 million youths entering the job market over the next 20 years, Kurdistan will need to add 50,000 jobs each year to keep pace. From my observations during the time spent here in Kurdistan, it is clear that this is a culture that values diplomas over learning, test scores and grade point averages over student learning outcomes, the memorization of disciplinary facts and figures and multiple choice exams over soft skill development and coursework that develops critical thinking, creative problem solving, and the application of knowledge, transferable skills that will serve graduates well as they enter an ever-changing regional and global economy. 
I've also heard of the insurmountable wall of challenges. There's a focus on basic learning rather than on the educational system holistically. The public perception that the secondary and higher educational system is not useful for youth development. High schools not preparing students for university. University not sufficiently career oriented. Insufficient facilities in schools. Few preschools and kindergartens and schools are operating on double and triple shifts. An underdeveloped vocational training sector for high school graduates. Insufficient collaboration across the ministries and the ministries and educational sector with private industry. No mechanisms for data-driven decision making and how it feeds short and long-term strategic planning. And then, it's the fault of COVID. It's the fault of the youths. The economy is not sufficiently diversified. The private sector is insufficient to absorb university graduates. So the purpose of the conference and following activities is to find a way to get past this wall of challenges and erode the pervasive culture of cynicism. What should we expect from Kurdistan's educational system, from kindergarten through to master's and doctoral education? What do we want students to learn and demonstrate at each grade level and at the universities? How does this conversation connect with public and private sector workforce needs, not just those of today, but into the future? An economy needs a diverse workforce not just people with university diplomas, but skilled, knowledgeable, and motivated youths ready for a range of technical and service professions. So let's be progressive, brave, and seriously identify and discuss the gaps in the current structures and creatively design strategies to move forward. We can address capacity building among teachers, school administrators, staff of the ministries and universities. A mandated curriculum where there's a standard set of student learning outcomes for each grade level. An equitable distribution of workload among teachers across the educational system to ensure that all students have equal access to quality education a seamless transition from secondary to higher education, secondary to vocational education, and from schools, institutes, universities, to the workplace. Inequities of teaching and learning at international versus public schools, private versus public universities. The role and definition of research on the master's and doctoral levels as it directly impacts the nation's economic development and advances intellectual property. And most importantly, we need to engage a wide spectrum of stakeholders to ensure local ownership and the monitoring, assessment, and sustainability of initiatives far into the future. The vision may be ambitious, truly overwhelming, but we're addressing the educational and professional development needs of 50% of the population. We have already entered the third decade of the 21st century. The time to move to action is now. Do we just accept the outmigration of Kurdistan's future workforce to Europe and beyond? Or do we start constructing an educational, professional, economic infrastructure so that the youth of Kurdistan stay here and contribute to nation building. And that brings us to today's conversation.